You know, at 12 News, we're always trying to keep you safe. And one of the realities of the times we live in, the dating app dangers. A lot of people meet each other on dating apps, and most of the time it goes absolutely fine. But there are some risks that come with it. In fact, here at 12, we've reported on some sexual assaults that have happened on the ASU campus when two people have met online and then bad things happen. Tonight, Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us with a look at some of the dangers that you could face and also how to protect yourself. Rachel. Hey guys, it's true. We're spending so much time behind screens hoping to meet that special someone that we may overlook obvious signs of danger. So a lot of people obviously are utilizing social media to meet people. Detective Natalie Barella with Tempe PD says first and foremost, try to maintain some privacy. The biggest thing is people just need to take a little more time when they meet someone online. Look for these red flags. You know, I think one key thing, if people can just start when they start communicating with someone, start with just by first name. She says oftentimes people overshare, especially if they're excited about new love, but that could lead to safety hazards. A lot of times through the apps, you can talk and chat through the app. That may be a good way to protect your privacy, but not actually giving someone your real phone number. Red flags include anxious people in a rush to meet you in person. Detective Barella says, take your time. Meet someplace that's you know public where there's a lot of people and even letting a friend know, hey, I'm going to meet someone. This is their name. This is where I'm going to be going. And so they can be aware of maybe your location just in case, you know, if anything were to happen, they have an idea of where you are. She adds, don't be afraid to make recommendations on places to meet once you're comfortable with that person. Suggest doing some of these things that you guys may have, in, you know, common interest, whether it be going for a run in a public place, you know, participating or going to a sporting event, something of that nature where there's lots of people and it feels a safer environment. Overall, take your time and do screenings of your own on the very device you're searching social sites on. Police say, of course, if you have a run in with someone who simply won't take no for an answer, alert police and try to retain as much information as you can. Guys, back to you.